All right, guys, Conscience uh, back again, and uh, I wanted to dive into my record Alive off the Rim album. Um, this is a record that's a testimonial. Um, I've said this time and time again, I think we undervalue the weight of our testimony. Uh, those who are rescued in Christ, who have a newness of life, and their entire world and worldview has changed. It's unexpressible, the impact that that has on our life and just the amazingness that God even did that. Um, I don't think we ever graduate from our testimony. In fact, God reveals more and more in himself how his hand is working uh, from beginning to end, um, even before we were saved, and even to those who aren't saved, how his hand is involved. And um, as I get older, and I slow down and I intentionally live more and more. That's the, see, that's the problem is we don't, we don't live intentionally enough to seek God and to have a fullness of life the way God has set for us. And so um, as we grow in that, when we get older, if, we're, if, we're, if God's gracious enough to allow us to go through that and develop and grow um, and be able to be in a place of redemption where we're seeking him, um, we begin to see, wow, God, you are amazing. You are all knowing. You're all wonderful. You're worthy to be worshiped and praised. You're perfect. Uh, you're loving. And um, I began to look at my testimony and just say, wow, man, every time I look at my testimony, I just see God's hand more and more. And I always like to revisit that in my music. And so I picked an interlude to do it. Um, this is kind of a piggyback almost off of a record I released off my Sin is Deep project a long time ago called My Testimony. It's actually one of the most accomplished songs that I have. It, it did like 20, I think 25,000 plays or something on Rapzilla. I think collectively it did like 30 to 40,000 plays overall. And so that's easily, that song has been the most streamed song I've ever released to date. Hopefully that's not the case after this album. But, um, it's a piggyback off of a song I made on that album called My Testimony, um, where I talk about how I grew up in a mega church and God saved me there. And, uh, and yet it was a real conversion. It really happened. And even though I didn't quite learn about sanctification and some of the things that uh, were to come about later on in my walk with God, um, nonetheless, he saved me there. And God's saving people in some of the most unpredictable places that you would never imagine or that you would say, no, there's no way God would be there. Um, and so this song, again, is just kind of another walkthrough of a different perspective visually of my testimony and where I was at with life and uh, appreciating it in a new way. And so I uh, wanted to make it short and brief um, and just make it more boom bappy than the rest of the music, give it a, a slower tempo, but still keep that bounce, give it a different energy. Um, and again, it wasn't dead in the middle of the project. So, um, you know, I, only, I placed it at track four rather than five. And uh, I really think it reminds us that we can look back and see God's hand more and more, which will draw us to a place of acknowledging God's goodness, which will lead us to repentance and faith, and in this case, worship. So I hope you guys enjoyed the record and um, let me know, you know, what are some things when you look back on your testimony that maybe looking back again, uh, you didn't know or you didn't appreciate in the moment, but over time you look back and said, wow, God, your hand was involved here. I'm really interested in knowing that. I love hearing people's testimonies. They're so powerful. You know, my church, um, every month or two or three um, we'll do uh, testimonies where when people get baptized, they'll share their testimony and just some of the most powerful spiritual activity goes on during those times where people just recognize God's goodness. And, uh, I think if more people heard your testimony, um, they would be impacted really heavily more than, um, some logical lofty conversation could, um, it, God's designed the testimony to just be an incredible instrument for his purposes and for drawing people, uh, to the cross. Uh, so again, guys, can't wait to hear your guys' feedback and hope you guys love the record.